Hey guys, Cam here from 9to5. Google and Apple Music is finally available to download for Android. So I wanted to give you a quick setup tour and first impressions of Apple's second app for Google's mobile platform. Now when you first launch it, you'll get a screen offering you the chance to start your free trial. From here, if you tap it, you can choose to create a new Apple ID or use an existing one. If you've never had an Apple ID before, i.e. never used iTunes before, creating a new one involves inputting your name, address, email, phone and credit or debit card details. Once you've done that, you can sign in to the service. Now the first time you use Apple Music, the app will ask you what genres of music you like. Now, you can tap and hold for stuff you don't like, tap once for things you do like, and double tap for stuff that you really, really like. All in this really attractive user interface covered in these bubbles that move around everywhere. Now, after choosing genres, you go through a similar process with artists. And once you've done all that, you're ready to go. Now, you can skip all of this if you're an existing Apple Music user. All you have to do then is just sign into the app right from the beginning and you'll have all the same content you see on your existing iPhone, iPad, Mac or fourth generation Apple TV. Now the default home page of the app once you've signed in is the For You section and this is where Apple suggests a number of albums or curated playlists. To access other pages simply go to the usual hamburger style menu on the left hand side. Here you can find things like your playlists. I was pretty amazed actually to find all my playlists were there exactly like they are on iTunes or my Mac. And that includes the automatically created ones iTunes has had there for years. There's also the new section which shows you all the new music available. Now it's worth noticing that the Android app doesn't yet have music videos here, unlike the iPhone and Mac apps. As you'd expect, you'll also find Beats Radio in the side menu. And as with most of the app sections, the user interface is very similar to that used in the iOS app. There are some minor differences in line spacing and image layout, but generally it's the same as it is in the Connect screen. Apple's re-attempt at making Ping the music social network service. Now perhaps the biggest difference between the iOS and Android apps is the iPhone app has all the sections labelled at the bottom of the screen, whereas Android uses the aforementioned side menu. Either way, you'd get access to exactly the same content, services and playlists on both platforms. And once you hit play on your chosen album, track or playlist, you'll see a gorgeous minimal user interface taking over the screen. And like most Android music apps, when you lock the screen, you get a notification widget that lets you control music from the lock screen by pausing, playing or skipping tracks. One really handy feature that you may not have to use very often is the settings option in the menu. This lets you manage your account and change things like your subscription plan if you wanted to upgrade to a family plan, for instance. You can do that here. Now, Apple Music for Android is a free download, and of course, I will leave a link in the description box for where you can download it onto your phone. I've been Cam, I'm at CamBunton on Twitter, and I will see you again soon.